Hey there folks, Scottsdale Travel Chick Sidekick here to present the best hikes to do in Red Rock Canyon, just outside Las Vegas, Nevada. There are almost 30 hikes to consider in and around the park, and in this video, we'll show you the top six, from easy to moderate to difficult. Okay, let's go. First though, just a little bit about the park itself. Red Rock Canyon is located about 30 minutes east of downtown Las Vegas, and it's an easy day trip from the Strip. The park itself is basically a 13 mile or 21 kilometer one-way scenic drive, and the primary attractions here are the scenery and various hiking and climbing opportunities. Fun fact, Red Rock Canyon is actually not a park, but a quote, national conservation area. There are some technicalities to that on who manages the area, but you can simply think of it as a scenic park, and that's what we're going to call it throughout this video. If you want to learn much more about the overall park and everything it has to offer beyond just these hikes, be sure to check out our separate day trip guide for the park. Just search Scottsdale Travel Chick Red Rock Canyon Guide. Okay, let's get to those top hikes within the park. All right, babe, where are you at today? So we are in Red Rock Canyon, and we are gonna do some hiking trails today. All right, and uh, how much hiking are you up to for today? Um, five to seven miles. All right, that's gonna be part of our ultimate day <laughs> trip hike guide to Red Rock Canyon. Yes. As I mentioned, there are almost 30 trails to consider, so it's not easy to decide which trails are worth your time. But lucky for you, you found this video, and we are going to tell you the six best hikes to take, whether you want something easy or something more difficult. I'll cover them from first to last as you travel through the park. Then after that, I'll summarize them from easy to hard at the end. Here we go. Calico Hills. This is the first area you'll come to as you leave or pass by the visitor center. This choice isn't so much of a hike as it is a walk to explore the front side of the Calico Sandstone Ridge with various places to climb and scramble around the ridge to explore. This is one of the easiest choices in the park if you want to simply walk around the front of the ridge. You can take an out and back hike of up to two miles, or you can make it as short as you'd like with only 40 yards between the parking areas and exploring the ridge bottom. There are three parking options for this hike, Calico 1 and Calico 2, and Sandstone Quarry Lot 2 if you want to do the longer out and back walk. There are bathrooms at both Calico 2 and Sandstone Quarry Lots. Calico Tanks is the next of our top six hikes that you'll come to just after Calico Hills, and it's the number one hike in the entire park. If you ask any of the rangers at the visitor center, they will tell you that if you do only one hike in the park, make it this one. The Calico Tank hike starts from the Sandstone Quarry Trailhead and is a two and a half mile or four kilometer hike into a Red Rock Slot Canyon. The hike includes what they call a natural water tank and at the end, you'll enjoy some great views back out towards Vegas. The hike will take you about two hours to complete and there will be a bit of elevation change, so be aware of that. As this is the most popular hike in the park, we're going to give you a couple more minutes of a play-by-play -play of this hike along with a bit of drone footage flying up into the canyon. The hike first starts out walking along a sandy wash from the trailhead. Back in the early 1900s, there was a rock quarry here, and you can still find large blocks left behind from those days. The wash area gets progressively narrower until you begin your hike up into the canyon. From there on, the trail gets a little steep here and there as you move up the canyon, but there are often steps built into the trail to help you along. And then you come up this little wash and you're in this canyon. Beautiful rocks and sandstone, different colors. This is just a little of the ways up. 
And the path you can see goes up into there. All right. It's got some travel chicks coming up through there. And probably two thirds of the way going up this canyon. And again, very end. I won't lie, even though the park guide says this trail is moderate, it's not an easy hike. But the Scottsdale Travel Chick has done it, and we also saw 7-year-olds to 70-year-olds doing it. So, with enough time and maybe a few breaks along the way, most people will be able to make it to the end. Alright, we're going to go through there. babe we are about two-thirds of the way we just have to go to the itty bitty top of that ridge there maybe a quarter mile but really rocky uh how you doing uh my knees are a little sore but you're doing it i'm doing it yeah <laughs> but hey. we go up and then we gotta come back the same way right correct it's gonna be fun huh it's gonna be easier <laughs> coming back down right maybe Let's see. As you near the very end of the hike, you'll come to a depression in the canyon where rainwater collects into a natural tank. It's pretty cool, and when we were there in February, there was even ice on the edge. From that point, another 100-yard climb will bring you to the summit of the trail, where there are various rock outcroppings you can hike to to get some great pictures and experience the view back out over Las Vegas in the distance. All right, so the final little 20 yards. I'm gonna go up here and have a great view out over the valley, they say. So let's take a look. Kind of moving up. All right, and you go all the way out to the tippy tip of this for this view. Here's the strip. And I guess you can go a little bit higher if you want. All right, we came up through there. Here is Calico Tank. There is the Scottsdale Travel Chick gracefully making her way up to this same view out here. Once you've had your fill of views and pictures at the top, simply turn around and make your way back down the way you came. The entire hike should take you about two hours up and back. back down the trail and this is a kind of cool place and we're going to go down this little crevice and over the edge. Finally, just for fun, here's a drone shot moving up through about one half of the canyon. The scenery's not too shabby on this hike, huh? I'd have to say that probably this hike has some of the most beautiful views and environment of all the hikes in Red Rock Canyon. Next up are Willow Springs and Petroglyph Trails. The parking option for this is Willow Springs, and there are bathrooms as well as picnic tables here. It's a great place for a picnic lunch. The hike itself is an easy one to one and a half mile loop hike, 
along the bottom of a ridge and back up the other side, along with a short detour back at the trailhead to see a small group of petroglyphs. This is one of the easiest hikes in the park. White Rock and La Madre Spring Loop are also at this same Willow Springs trailhead. This is a harder and longer six mile loop hike where you can experience distant views out to the north and also where bighorn sheep sightings are commonplace. A slight detour along this route also brings you to the year round La Madre Spring. Finally, one more top hike from the Willow Springs Trailhead is Ice Box Canyon. This is another challenging hike, but not as long as the White Rock Loop at about half that distance. On this hike, you'll walk from the desert into a canyon where you'll need to do some bouldering to get to the end. If you make it during springtime or after a rain, there's even a small waterfall to experience at the end. Finally, Pine Creek Canyon Hike is the last of our top six hikes that you'll come to. It's located towards the end of the Loop Road at Pine Creek Canyon Trailhead. This is a moderate rated hike with a number of mileage options to pick from. From little more than a mile to a bit more than three if you like climbing up stream beds into the canyon. Pine Creek Canyon is a bit unique compared to the other hikes we've mentioned so far. Here you get to walk through the desert past a rare ponderosa pine forest, and then further past what you can see is an abandoned 1920s homestead of Horace Wilson, who maintained an apple orchard here back in the day. As you continue, you can also walk through more lush landscape with a meadow and seasonal water. Okay, there you have it, our top six hikes for Red Rock Canyon. And now, let me summarize them again from easiest options to the most difficult. But before I do, let me just say that we're covering only hike details in this video. But if you'd like to learn more about the perfect day trip itinerary to visiting Red Rock Canyon, please check out our other video, Perfect Day Trip Guide to Red Rock Canyon. Now, back to the six hikes organized from easiest to hardest. First up, the two best easy hikes are Calico Hills and Willow Springs and Petroglyph Loop Hike. Calico Hills was the easy walk just from a couple of parking lots to a sandstone ridge, and Willow Springs and Petroglyph Trail are that 1.5 mile loop hike with a short detour to the petroglyphs. The two best moderate hikes are Calico Tanks and Pine Creek Canyon. Calico Tanks was the most popular hike in the park two and a half mile hike into a slot canyon with a natural water tank and views back out over Vegas. While Pine Creek Canyon has options for up to a three mile hike with ponderosa pines, an old homestead, a meadow and seasonal water to explore. Finally, the two best more difficult hikes are White Rock La Madre Loop, a longer six mile loop with views, bighorn sheep and a year round spring and Icebox Canyon a shorter two and a half mile hike, first across the desert and up into a canyon where you do some bouldering to get to the end with a seasonal waterfall. Well, there you have it, our top six list to the best hikes to do in Red Rock Canyon. Have you done any of these hikes or did we miss one of your favorites? Let us know in the comment section below the video. And until next time, see you later.